I've never been this wild. Good morning, guys. Today is day four of our trip. We are currently in Roatan, which is an island in Honduras. Today we have another short excursion. Basically, this excursion is going to take us around the whole island. We're going to visit some scenic points and then some nature reserve. And then we're also going to go to some beachy stuff. So it's like a four and a half hour tour. So similar to yesterday. So yeah, really excited. It's my first time going to Honduras. So I don't know what it's going to be like. I have to be careful about eating here because that's something we're a little bit concerned about so hopefully everything turns out okay welcome to Honduras first stop we bring us to a souvenir store Oh, we're so small. Go get a table. Almost $25. Okay, thank you. Very Doris prices. There's our ship over there. There's so many mosquitoes here. Oh, we were not expecting this. Yes. Yeah, very right. touristy. Touristy like trap. Yeah. yeah. No one really bought anything. Coconut. We're gonna go on a banana farm. A cashew tree. area called Las Palmas. So much nicer compared to the other side of Honduras. Yeah, it's all touristy here, that's why. Yeah, so we're just gonna hang by the beach here for the next two hours. Told us to get established fast because I guess all the cruise ships come here. So let's see. You want alcohol? No, no alcohol. No alcohol, thank you. Guys, we claimed the hut and we're by the beach. Yeah. Here's our little spot. Yeah. Here's some. <laughs> Welcome. How are you today? Good. How are you? Good. So my name is Deris. My name is Laura. We are free moving to the beach, the body massage, and we also do the hair day. I'm more interested in the hair stuff. Okay. Let's <laughs> get. There's the braiding station over there. Yeah. So I'm gonna get colored braided hair. I don't know. I've never done that before. What color you want to You can pick two colors. Yes. <laughs> Oh, it's good. I can't see, so like, yeah. I can't wait for the reveal. <laughs> <laughs> I look so foreign. <laughs> Thank you. So, how do you like your hair, honey? Oh my gosh, like, I've never been this wild in my life. 
Okay. You're such a wild girl getting your hair braided. <laughs> no, but like wild in the sense like with the colors. ribbons and the colors. Because braids usually aren't really my type of thing. I do think it accentuates my face shape, which makes it like rounder. But I think for the experience, it's nice. What do you think? I think it looks fine. Yeah? My wife is beautiful, so it doesn't matter the hairstyle. I don't know. <laughs> I look so non-Asian. That was $40. $40. All right, let's enjoy the beach. What are you gonna do, hon? I'm gonna dip my feet in the rotten waters. All right, for the first time. Wow. You gonna come? Nope. <laughs> you wore sneakers. Yeah, I'm wearing sneakers. Okay, do you think it's warm or cold water? Probably okay. It's okay. probably warmer than uh, California water, but we'll find out. How is it? It's not bad. It's cool, but not like cold cold. Right. Back to ship. So, what'd you think, honey? Wow, I'm still admiring my dreads. <laughs> no, these aren't dreads. Just braided hair. Braided hair. So I did see some people also do the braid, but they didn't do the ones with the color. So I'm glad I did this one. But of course, tourists, whatever, rip off. Mm -hmm. The price is $40, but Plus I'm going to try it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, what'd you think? Today's, today's excursion. Sure. Well, I definitely liked the one we did yesterday with the bee sanctuary, the Mayan cacao stuff, because I felt it was more interactive. We could do more things. Well, I mean, we gotta try food, and I think I was more interested in that stuff. Today, we got off the port. We were a little bit taken aback of how. You get CD, see. it looks, yeah. yeah. Like we see bars on windows and everything. I mean, I didn't feel unsafe though. Like the people looked pretty friendly and it didn't look like anything, but it's weird. Like our um, tour guide, Billy, he was saying, yeah, you can just walk down the street, everything's fine. Of course, I don't know if he's just saying that to say it, but like when we're driving by all the businesses and stuff, there's bars on all the windows. So people must be breaking in or stealing stuff. But anyway, when I was there, I didn't feel unsafe. Nobody seemed like they were, you know, they didn't have like tattoos and like, you know, I don't know knives or anything like it felt safe everyone felt pretty safe and mm -hmm. friendly and i thought it was fun i mean i agree i think i liked yesterday's better but mm -hmm. like the bus was better too right oh, yeah. the, the bus we were on kind of cramped today yeah cramped it was full it was a smaller one yesterday it was big and floofy seats there was lots of ac mm -hmm. not as crowded yeah. and i feel like cozumel was more spacious or something here it's like the mm -hmm. port area is like it's so dense because i think it's mountainousy or like hilly at least mm -hmm. it's like just one road so all these cars are trying to get in and out of the port because you know we have cruise ships here mm -hmm. the traffic was yeah. pretty bad there yeah. was a lot of traffic jams mm -hmm. so there was that but that was my first impression coming onto this little island here so yeah the first stop we went to was the uh, <laughs> souvenir souvenir shop, shop and, and, and a sc scenic shot of the, the ship. cruise ship so. like i mentioned earlier i was a little bit surprised that they kind of brought us to a building to take pictures and it wasn't even like a super nice fancy building it was kind of you know run down a little but I mean, he said it was built a couple years ago I guess we're, we're spoiled and we have like this level of expectation because we come from the United States, but... Wait, well I wanted to say, I thought it was kind of misleading because I read in the app, they said they were going to bring us to a scenic point or something. That's how I, I mean, uh, it was kind of scenic. Run. No? I mean, you can't deny that the view of the ship was really good. Yeah, but when they say scenic, I thought they were going to take us to like a cliff or like a hill type of things where it's overlooking, you know, the, I suppose. the, the ship. Two breathtaking views of the city port from Panorama Hill. Was that Panorama Hill? I mean, it was on a hill. Maybe you should look on Google Maps. Yeah, it Panorama. says Panorama Hill. So yeah. Oh, wait, wait. It so says, it says enjoy okay. free time for shopping. I mean, yeah, that was the souvenir shop. Yeah, I guess. So yeah, basically it says photograph the ship in bay from panorama hill see i read that and i was like wow they're gonna take us name, yeah, to like some hill and then you know it's probably nice and overlooking the ship and then it's like oh we just, just won the second trap. floor of a building or something okay anyway so yeah there was that oh and the souvenirs were like so expensive they were more expensive than in like our country like in the united states yeah like a dress that would have cost what like 30 dollars in the u.s like a, it was like a flowy type of summery type mm -hmm. of 
$79. Yeah, like at first we weren't sure because it had the dollar sign but also two lines. So we weren't sure if that was Honduras dollars, but then I think it's US. It's US. Dollars. <laughs> I feel like very few people bought stuff. No one on our group bought anything. Oh, really? So, yeah. oh, okay. So there's that. And then after that, we went to the Caribbean Eagle Bird Tour yeah. Sanctuary. <sighs> I don't know. The tour guide in the beginning, he was just feeding the the doves. The doves. He said, "Oh, it's to entertain the tour." <laughs> and I can see why because it's kind of boring. Okay, yes, if you were into like the educational and want to learn everything about these plants and the native life and stuff like that, sure. But I think the tour was a little bit too. Long. It's too long. So our tour guide likes to ramble. So I mean, don't get me wrong. Nice guy. Super friendly like we can talk to him about anything but I think uh, he would either lose his train of thought and then he would say the same thing over again or something so things that would be you know relatively quick it would take twice as long to do which was interesting but he would say it again and again mm -hmm. and you know after the first time it was kind of like uh yeah and people you know they didn't want to be rude mm -hmm. to like interrupt him so they would kind of just start like wandering <laughs> around or like not paying attention and uh, yeah you know, so the highlight was the cute baby monkey. Oh, yeah. Really cute. It is sad though that it was on the leash. I know. Yeah, uh, yeah we couldn't see the two sloths, so mm -hmm. yeah. But we saw the parrot too. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. After that, we went to the beach. You can tell they were ready for us when mm -hmm. we arrived. All the staff, staff was... workers just like crowded, like ready to sell. And you know, that's where I got these braids. I was a little bit sad that the beach wasn't as aesthetically pleasing oh, yeah. as you as, see online yeah it's just like all like on the sides there were some grass and shrubs and there's like a lot of junk and stuff like on the side i don't know it's not like clean and well yeah packed. i mean this place was like a tourist beach resort so it wasn't like you know just in the neighborhood and you know they just threw up some chairs so it was supposed to be really really nice and luxurious but yeah don't get me wrong compared to the rest of the island it is mm -hmm. right but <laughs> we just have higher standards of living <laughs> <laughs> it's fine like i mean we're being a little nitpicky i think but it, you know it is like little things that i'm surprised that they didn't care to like clean up or like like there's just like an abandoned boat the reality is is they already got our money i feel like a lot of people aren't flying in to go to that resort maybe it's supposed to be like a five-star resort area it sure doesn't feel like one you know maybe like the surrounding like entrance looks really nice yeah. but actually there it's like eh, it's okay it was nice it's okay nice. but like but it's more of a going with the right expectation yeah 3.5 maybe four star less even two more. or three star yeah they were nice yeah, okay yeah, yeah. i mean but Just tourist you. pricing you know how it is anyway so i enjoyed it though i thought it was nice i don't know yeah it was just nice we chilled there for like an hour and a half it was nice that there was some wind so it wasn't too hot there were plenty of seating and they had the little hot umbrellas mm -hmm. it was fine you know got a couple of scenic shots did your hair got the, the drink yeah. yeah it was good so now we're back in the cruise ship tomorrow we're gonna go to the last stop which is the Mayan ruins. We're going to Puerto Costa Maya, Mexico. Mm -hmm. We're going to the Chechoban ruins. Exclusive drive. Yeah, that should be fun. All right. All right. Bye, bye, guys. Bye.